Hey guys, Reza Vramov here. This is another video in the series of I am MPT strong. And as always, if you're watching this on um, um, Instagram, then the full version is in Instagram TV under I am MPT strong. Anyways, uh, guys, I just, uh, you know, finished the workout and I want to share with you something. Uh, if some of you have seen my previous videos, you know, I'm a right leg below the knee MPT. Um, this is my setup. Uh, it's a pin suspension with an Oser Proprio foot. Uh, it's been five years for me. Uh, I went through the whole journey of ups and downs with the recovery and did the athletic stuff and the extreme stuff and almost killed myself stuff and <laughs> stopped stuff. So it's been quite a ride. But anyways, today I just want to share with you something. I don't think it matters how long you are into your uh, MPT journey or what your experience is. There is something that when you learn to do uh, can really help you here. And yesterday I spoke about being gentle with yourself, you know, and not be too hard on yourself. And some days are tough. So I'll give you an example today. Today for me was a tough day, right? I mean, I, um, I do my workouts uh, many times because they just allow me to release the stress and the tension. And I, not, I enjoy them, right? But sometimes, you know, my leg just, it's not comfortable. And you need to scale back and you have to stop or you need to do less than you wanted or there are some exercises you want to do and, the, you know, the socket pinches on the back of the knee or, or something and it just irritates the hell out of you, right? So today I just want to share with you something short and sweet. And again, it helped me a lot along my journey. And it is to be okay with scaling back, to be okay with just taking a step back and, and chill, right? I mean, you are on a tremendous journey here. And as I said always, I don't know where you are on the journey, but we have to deal with a lot. Now, when there are certain things that we want to achieve or certain goals that we've set up to ourselves and it's not the right timing or we're not reaching it fast enough or the results are not really there. You know, I'm working on a new project for you guys and there's a lot of expectations and I want to do things and not, not everything works, right? And today was one of those days. And I call them a bad day. And um, I did a video blog uh, a few months ago on a bad day is a bad day. And it does happen. You know, some days are better than others. Some days are not. The ability to recognize a bad day and to give yourself a break and to step down and say, you know what? I'm going to do the best I can today, but it's not going to be to fulfill all my expectations or I'm not going to tick all my uh, to-do list or whatever the case may be. Maybe you plan to go grocery shopping or do something with the kids or clean the house or go to work and it just didn't work. You know, I remember days where my uh, socket fit was really not there and I used to try and push a little bit and then I would pay a huge price the day after and I wouldn't be able even to put the uh, prosthesis on and I would use crutches for a day or two or three. So seriously, the ability to, again, be gentle with yourself and be a little bit less aggressive with what it is you want to achieve will serve you very well. Now, I know it's hard. Listen, I know that I give you advice in retrospect and it's something that took me years to implement. And every time something happens and it catches me and, you know, it just sucks me into it and I get out of it maybe after a day or two. And I didn't realize that I could have stopped it earlier because a bad day is a day that doesn't work the way you want it. I'm not talking about extreme situations here or a health deterioration or, or something major happens. I'm just talking about a day that doesn't work the way you wanted it to work. Whatever it is, whatever you try to achieve, just, <laughs> it's, it's, it's not going that way. Be okay with it. Take a step back. Now, again, I know it's an advice that you hear it and say, ah, yeah, 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 you know, it's just talk. It's difficult to do. Yes, it is difficult to do. And I always recommend this is a practice this is not something that happens overnight this is a practice to identify where you are in that bad day to identify with that what you are actually trying to do can actually go against you if you push too hard and then say you know what chill take a back a step back just look at what has happened give yourself a break you know a bad day could be one day it could be two days sometimes even three days if something serious is going on in your life beyond that it's it's more dangerous uh, I mean, dangerous maybe is a harsh word, but it's something that you need to start and look into because that's the situation where 
uh, you might be in a deeper situation of uh, an emotional distress or physical distress, and, and this is when we need to reach out for help. Uh, but on the most part, just to share with you guys today's kind of uh, tip of the day is be easy with yourself. Take a step back. If things don't work the way you want them, instead of trying to push through, instead of being so hard on yourself, instead of trying to do even more, sometimes actually stopping, giving yourself some space, take the time to just stay away from it. I don't know, go do something else. If it's something very agitating for you, then just do something. Even a distractive activity is fine. You know, go watch Netflix. I don't know, just do something. Chill out, okay? Sleep on it. Start tomorrow, a new day. Look at it from a different perspective. Fresh eyes. Maybe you slept on it. Your subconscious did some work in the background. Maybe there's an easier solution that will show up. So once again, be easy with yourself. And I tell you, this is not something that happens overnight. I mean, here it is for me. It's one of those days. And I've just decided to cut the day shorter, understand that I'm not going to achieve the goals that I wanted, do my exercise. And even there, you know, my leg was after half an hour started to really bother me. So I scaled down and I said, you know what, take it as an easy day. I'm going to finish the day now, go shower, have dinner with my family and, um, and just plan for tomorrow. This is something I usually do that helps and uh, start tomorrow fresh. So hope that helps you today, guys. And again, all the best. Something I want to share with you that I would like to uh, uh, bestow and share with you guys is that really it's not a cliche. We are stronger than we think. This journey as an amputee will test you day and night. But there is an inner strength in you that is tremendous and it will show up and you will connect to it when you are in the toughest times and it's there. You will see it more and more and you probably already have seen it. And I know sometimes we try to diminish it or uh, whatever, you know, I had to deal with it, so I did what I needed to do. It's not that. The next video I'll talk with you about celebrating small successes and kind of achieving milestones along this amputee strong path, which is the most challenging, but it has humongous, beautiful rewards that await on the other side. All right, guys, see you tomorrow.